Do you know what's crazy? We have $150 here and I have finally decided what I'm gonna do with my Tuesday videos now that I have well, I'm sort of done saving for my personal spending saving money. Sad news, I have spent my Liz money. I will show you next week after everything's all set up what I ended up doing with it. But today, what did I say? I think it's $150. And we're just gonna have a little bit of fun and the first thing because it's still a Tuesday there's still a lot of taco love going on in the world we're gonna do this and it is just because I love I love just putting this money away anyway hi friends <laughs> if you're brand new here my name's Liz if you saw my video yesterday my first video yesterday you may have noticed it was upside down do you know why my videos sometimes are upside down normally you actually don't see it it is because my camera mount actually is on that way so I don't have I have I have so much space here to move my arms around so that's a little hint and a tip if you have issues with a camera mount being in your way as you're trying to record the sad thing is that it means that I have to the first thing I do when I edit my videos is I rotate them um, and some for some reason I had two versions of my video of my weekly stuffing video it wasn't my weekly stuffing video my Sunday stuffing video and I uploaded the wrong one so I feel like a big ding dong so a couple of you caught it and then I had to upload the other version here's the crazy thing when I looked on my phone it was upside down but on my computer it was right way up so anyway right now yeah the unedited version is you guys are looking at me doing this upside down right now but let's do my weekly stuffing i am presently on i have four days four days off work so uh not work like i'm four days off my barista job and it means that i feel like i've actually caught up in sleep I don't even know what the heck I just did. I know what I need to do. I wanted to take 10, not five. I'm putting $50 into clothes and shoes. Well, $10, now we have $50 total. And I feel like I am caught up on sleep. I, I, I don't know what kind of person I am right now, but I am the kind of person that feels functional, that feels happy. I've been doing lots of yard work. So excited, just like, yeah full of joy five dollars is going into family fun but this is actually going to be spent pretty soon as I buy some stuff to celebrate to the first day of summer in the northern hemisphere as we celebrate orange day gifts is going to go ahead and get 10 so yeah four days off from Murbucks. I was actually I lie it's three days off and do you know why because of that I told you a bit of a story about you know this couple who are matched on tinder at my at the store where I work and one of them is actually a supervisor and so the other person ended up quitting so Saturday morning I had I said okay well I'm I'll pick up his shift I can't work past 10 o'clock to 10 o'clock I can't pass work past 12 o'clock I'm putting $20 in head to toe today and so I went in from 8 to 12 on Saturday. So yeah, okay, so three days off, but I worked six days in a row and my body was hurting. My left, what was it? My left knee and my right hip were kind of hurting. I don't know, that standing, like it is exhausting. I'm gonna put 10 in household today um, and I just come home and I'm just, I feel like I'm dead because I'm just, I'm peopled out. I've talked to so many people. Um, it's full on physical activity. Just the fact, it's crazy just how physical the job is. 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290 in medical. And yeah, I I feel like today I'm like oh wait I feel like the old Liz I feel like I have energy what the heck is going on like I, I don't feel like I need to be in bed by 7 p.m. but here is the crazy thing about this whole taco Tuesday and my Tuesday video I'm gonna put ten dollars in future home this is such a long way off being where I need it to be but uh, every little bit counts um, so 
what I need help with in my life right now is just accountability. It's summertime here in the Northern Hemisphere. Do you know what I should be doing? I should be going out for my walks. Today I did two walks. I'm so happy with myself. Fuel doesn't need anything. I'm gonna give Liz Mobile 10 just because we have that big car expense next time I take it in for a service. So five, six, 640. And I, <laughs> I've already forgotten what I was talking about, my two walks. So I did my walks and this, then it hit me. What can I do? I don't have a whole lot of money to cash stuff for right now, but do you know what I can do? I can tie in a little bit of money, a little bit of savings with accountability. And here is why. This, I have been great with vacation, with the purging. I, I am an, a gold medal Olympian with this. Where I am not a gold medal Olympian is tracking my spending because I, I come in and I'm like, yeah, it's easy for me to be like, yeah, let's throw three things in the donation bag. It is harder for me to think, oh wait, did I spend money yesterday? So honestly, at the end of the month, I am just gonna put this whole hundred dollars towards debt, but Starting in June, I'm going to make my Tuesday videos a little bit about money and a little bit about accountability because I need it and I feel like actually talking through you guys what I'm doing from week to week is going to give me the accountability that I need. Normally, I would have $20 for my taco stuffing. Do you know what I want to do with that today? I actually want to put it towards my CD ladder. I am probably going to need an IOU at the end of this. And I think we're okay with that as, so we'll just, we'll just see. And this is from Marlene Snow Gardener, 307. Okay, so $3, that's $8. I said we had 20, that's $9, 11, 15. Oh my gosh, wait. See, I don't even need the IOU. I even brought it out and I was prepped. Okay, so you, and I normally I'm like, okay, is there one that I missed? Okay, so we are just gonna do, I'm just gonna add this extra $3 in here. I didn't even think that this was a $25 challenge. That's like how brain faded I am. 10, 25, 28, $28 for my CD letter. Wow, that was anticlimactic wasn't it but now we have a little bit of money left over and you guys know what I like to do I do like to try and put a little bit of my weekly spending into my week ahead and it feels it just feels good for me not I can't do this every single time but when I can I will try and so this week it feels like it's a good week 100 to 50 to 70 to 80 we have we have space for another oh my gosh look at this this was just right in front of me on the desk which is why it's a little 100 200 300 so now there we go oh, I didn't even think about that do you know what we should probably make this official uh, you guys are cracking me up in the comments talking about um, your workplace romances and uh, some of you don't have workplace romances and you haven't had workplace romances and guess what I think you're probably the better person. There's a saying at the gym and it's um, <laughs> don't go number two where you swim and it's basically like gym relationships don't work out, workplace relationships don't work out, everything kind of falls apart. And uh, you guys are honestly just cracking me up in the comments. But before you go, I received this from one of my kids for Mother's Day. And I just wanted to tell you, if you have access to Tree Hut Vanilla, I wish you could smell my skin right now. Uh, honestly, I when I saw the price of this, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought they spent a lot of money on me. They didn't spend a lot of money on me, but it's one of my favorite scents. I feel like I smell like a birthday cake. It exfoliates my skin. So if you're in the US and you have access to this stuff and you feel like you need to exfoliate your skin, I am never gonna become a beauty channel, but dang, it's like 10 bucks and it feels so good on my skin. So I just wanted to be like, yay, my kids love me and 
I think of them when I use this and I also think of birthday cakes. But that was it. Fast, fun, fabulous. I will see you guys next week. And remember in June, I'm gonna start all the things on accountability and trying to be accountable with you guys. I'll see you next time.